You will encourage our hearts. You will strengthen us. You energize us. And breathe upon us the breath of your spirit and power tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of our God. We, we bring we, the we, sacrifice we, of praise into the house of our God as we offer, as we offer on to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving as we offer on to thee the sacrifice of praise. Sing hallelujah. We bring the sacrifice of praise. Oh yes, into the house of our God. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house. Of our God, as we offer, as we offer unto thee the sacrifice, so thanks give as we offer unto thee oh, the sacrifice, so praise. Messiah is the king of kings. Messiah, Messiah is the Lord of lords. Messiah, Messiah is the king of kings. Messiah, oh, Messiah is the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, oh, yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, yeah, oh, hallelujah, oh, yeah, glory be to God in the highest amen, glory be to God in the highest all his mercies endure forever. Amen. Hallelujah. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Oh, yes, it's forever, forever. For his mercy, it's forever, forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, uh, Pastor Yomi could not unmute himself. I don't know if anybody knows uh, how to go about it so that he can unmute himself. Pastor Yomi Omorewa, please. Help us unmute him so that... I don't think it's from us because if... Can we quickly do that, please, so that we can continue the prayers? Are you hearing what I'm saying, sir? Please, Hello? anybody that can help us use his guide to unmute him. Please Hello, Pastor Shego. Are you hearing me? Hello? Hello, Pastor Shego. Sorry, I'm not hearing, sir. The, the, the voice is too low. Okay, I'm coming. Are you hearing me now, Pastor Shego? Hello? Uh, 
Hello? I'm hearing you. Okay, you are hearing me, but I'm not hearing your voice very well at all. Okay, just continue. Okay. Just continue. I want to bless the name of the Lord tonight. I want to appreciate God for his goodness and his mercies unto us. I want to thank God for bringing us to this new week. I want to glorify the name of the Lord. This is the week of the retreat. It's a week of blessings. It's a week of power. It's a week, week of liberation and victory. Why don't you open your mouth and give all the praises unto God tonight? Let's appreciate God who has enabled us to be alive. Let's appreciate God for his faithfulness unto us. Let's thank him because of whom he is. Almighty God, we exalt you. Oh God, we exalt you. Oh God, we appreciate you. Oh God, we reference you tonight. Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, we praise you. Thank you so much because either do you have helped us, O oh Lord. Lord, everlasting Father, we give you all the praises. Lord, we give you all the praises. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, we thank you, Father, once again for helping us thus far in our journey and making us to see yet a, a new week, oh God. This is just the very beginning of this new week, oh dear Father. Lord, we appreciate you, God. We have to bow before you. Almighty God, we reference you this night, oh Lord. Thank you for the manifestation of your presence. The manifestation of your glory, the manifestation of your power. Thank you once again for the way you have been sustaining us every day in the out, O oh Lord. Almighty God, everlasting Father, we worship you. God will say thank you. God will say thank you. God will say thank you. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Almighty God, we adore you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we honor you. Father, we glorify you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we reference you, God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We want to thank the Lord. If you can hear me, please. I want to hear the sound of our voice. Please, let's praise up our voices so that we can hear ourselves very well. We want to appreciate God again. We want to thank God for our Father in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumui, and all the great men of God in this country, Nigeria. We want to appreciate God for the way God has been helping every one of them. We want to thank God for the power of the grace of God upon their lives. I want to tell you that they are the frontliners. They are doing great job. I mean, all our all our fathers of faith, the national overseers in various countries, all the state overseers, all the regional overseers, all our group pastors, district pastors, in fact, local government pastors, every one of them all together. They are doing great job for the Lord. We want to appreciate God and say, Father, Thank you once again for the way you have been keeping every one of them. How you have been upholding them by your mighty power. He did not allow the devil and all his hosts to prevail over them. He did not allow the enemy to, to succeed in their ministry. He did not allow the forces of darkness to subdue them. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God for all these, our fathers of faith. They are preparing for another retreat again. We have every cause to appreciate God and to say, God, we are grateful unto you. Almighty God, we reference you. Almighty God, we thank you for all our father, fathers of faith. We thank you for our Father and the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumui. Thank you once again for all the ministers of God across this nation, O oh Lord, who are standing for the truth, who are standing for righteousness and holiness. 
Almighty God, we bless you. Almighty God, we appreciate you. Thank you for their family. Thank you for the ministry you have given to them. Thank you for all our national overseers, all our missionaries in various countries of the world. Thank you once again for all the state overseers, oh God, all our regional overseers. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your knowledge. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for your mighty enablement upon their lives, O oh God. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we are grateful unto you. Lord, we say thank you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, our God, my Father, we praise you. Lord, everlasting Father, God, Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Almighty God, everlasting Father, we praise you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Oh God of heaven, we say thank you once again, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we want to briefly look at the subject of the power of importunate praying. The power of importunate praying. And that is what we are going to center our prayer upon tonight. I'm reading from Luke chapter 11. That is where we had our start the scripture this morning. I don't know whether it is like that in other regions or other countries of the world. But here in Lagos here, by the grace of God, it was centered around this text of the scripture. This Luke chapter 11. Jesus teaches on prayer. And that is what we consider. We want to look at verse 1. Then I will join some other verses with it and then we pray. In Luke chapter 11, please, if you have your Bible, you can go along with me as we read together the word of God. Luke chapter 11, I read from verse 1. He said, and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, when he stopped praying, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. I want to stop there. Lord, teach us to pray. Sometimes we look at ourselves that and we say, well, we know how to pray. I want to tell you, brothers, our prayer level is not what, probably it has not reached the level to which God is expecting or is desiring that it should be. We need to step up the game and accept the Lord teach us to pray. Accept it grant unto all the power, the power behind the, that, that praying, that importunate praying. That's when we can say, yes, we are, there, we are there already. And so, he said, Lord, teach us to pray. Sometimes you look at yourself, even as we are praying now, begin to evaluate yourself. Begin to check up your prayer life. Begin to look at the condition and the situation of our prayer life. Are we really at our best? Are we really at our best at the, at the moment? And so, he said, Lord, teach us to pray. Lord, teach us to pray. Lord, teach us to pray. That's why we are considering that subject tonight. Teach us to pray. And eventually, look at how he told them, he gave them the pattern of prayers. How they need to pray, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Of course, we know that. That's a pattern. It's a, it's a mold there that we have to follow. Look at verse 8. And then he now said, I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he was talking about a particular friend that went to another friend and was requesting for uh, three loaves to be able to take care of the friend that just came back, that just came on a journey, or who is on his journey. And eventually, the friend, that other friend said, oh, you are disturbing me. I'm sleeping. I'm already sleeping. But because he kept on persisting, because he kept on asking and asking, 
he, he, the friend that he wanted to collect the bread, the loaves of bread from, has no choice than to attend to him. He's telling us about the power of importunate praying. How we need to pray often. How we need to continue in prayer. How we need to seek, I mean, to seek the face of God until eventually God will attend to our prayers. What are we saying tonight? We are saying this here tonight. Look at that verse 8. Say, I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, because of his persistence, and because he persevered, because he was so consistent, because he kept on asking and asking, because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. He said, well, come and take this thing. You are disturbing me. You are you not allow me to rest. Because he was disturbing and disturbing. Eventually, he will rise and he will give him all that he desired. The same thing. He's teaching us that when we go in our lives, and we have been telling God and say, God, I want you to do this in my life. I want you to fulfill this in my life. And yet, you have not given me this. Sometimes it is because of our, our inability to persist, to be able to persevere. Amen? Amen. 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 Okay. Now, I, there was a particular story that our, our, our pastor told us today, our group pastor. I mean, it was quite encouraging. It was uh, very challenging. He said he has a Muslim background. And uh, when he got converted at a very younger age, of course, and then when he got converted, he kept on serving the Lord, though he said he had a sickness, a particular sickness, that every day he was always coughing. Every day of the week, every week of the year, of the month, every month of the year, from January to December, coughing and coughing. It became very serious. And yet, during the time of the retreat, he was not even married that time. He said God I mean, he specifically instructed him that he should go and work in the kitchen. And it got to a point that when they had the retreat, he was working in the kitchen. And uh, while he was there in the kitchen, he was coughing. Not only coughing, he, he started coughing out blood. He couldn't continue. And he had to rush to the hospital for medical, uh, you know, whatever, for him to be taken care of. He said, while he was in the hospital, overnight he slept. And the Lord told him, the Lord visited him while he was there in that hospital. And he said, you are too much in a hurry. That." It's because you were not patient enough. I will have healed you. Ah, he woke up in the night. I mean, in the in the in the daytime, and the brethren came to visit him in the hospital while he was there, and they were say, "Well, take your time, and then allow them to diagnose what the problem is and all that and all that." He said, "Of course, they didn't even know what God told him, so they were given him another counsel." Meanwhile, the Lord had told him that it's because he was not patient that he will have healed him. So he got the message. He had to rush back again. He went back. He told the doctor to discharge him. And then he returned back to the retreat branch. And while he was there, he kept on trusting God. No, he, he, he went back home. He went back home. I think the retreat has ended at that point in time. So he went back home. And then he was asking God. He said, God, you told me that if I'm patient enough, you know, and I've been praying and praying and praying, I've not seen anything. He said, that night, while he was praying, he said, just a kind of breeze fell on him, and he just slept off. He said, somebody came. He could not even describe the person. The, 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 the vision that he saw, very tall, taller than the, than, the, than, the, than the building. And he was wondering how the person managed to bend himself to come in. He was seeing all of those things. 
they split his chest open like this. Open up his chest. And then while the chest was split open, he said, the man walked on him and he brought out something like a bile. Of course, we know bile. Like uh, Yoruba, we call it ororo. That you normally see that bitter something. He said, the person brought it out from his chest, from his body. And then he showed it to him. He said, this is the thing. Then he removed it. And then he started seeing that they were closing up. He started closing up his, his uh, body. Closing up his, uh, his body again that, that was split open as if they were operating on him. They started closing it up. You know, just, uh, you know, trying to put everything in order. And eventually, he, just like a trance, he said he opened up his eyes and then he saw the person very tall but transparent. He could not see the body, everything. He was wondering, how would this person go out? He said before he could, he could realize it, the person had gone. And that's how, he said from that very minute, that very moment, he received his healing. And that was the end of that cough that was disturbing his life. Now, what am I trying to bring up from here? Telling us that many of times, do you realize that we are not patient with the Lord? We are not patient in the presence of God. We are not patient enough for God to attend to all our needs at the place of prayer. And that is exactly what, I, what I'm driving out. Look at that verse 9. He said, and I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Now, I'm saying this because I want us to pray. The little time we have ahead of us, I want us to really pray with all our hearts. I want us to seek the face of God tonight, calling upon the name of the Lord. You know how things have been. We want to cry to God tonight. Oh, Lord, look at my life once again. Whatever thing that has brought me that, that brought me down, that brought down my spiritual life so low to the point that we find it difficult to pray. We find it difficult to tarry. We find it difficult to come in with the Lord. We find it difficult to be at the place of prayer. We want to ask God tonight and say, God, here am I tonight. I come to rededicate myself once again. Lord, walk upon my heart, O God. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight? I want to hear our voices, please. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, Lord, here we are, here we are once again. Everything that is disturbing our spiritual life, that is disturbing our prayer life, that would allow us to really be at the place of prayer. Is it the cares of this life? Is it any challenge that is there? Or maybe you have been brought down to zero level and you are struggling with your prayer life. We want to address that situation tonight. We want to tell the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, show mercy tonight. Oh God, once again, show us your mercy tonight. Let there be a revival, a refreshing once again upon our spiritual life, upon our soul. We want to be at the place of prayer. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Let Let's ask God and say, Father, once again, oh God, our eyes upon you tonight, oh King of glory. Lord, begin to operate and begin to walk upon our hand, oh God, in this and this place of prayer tonight, oh God. Oh Lord, we have come together to seek your face. We cannot afford to go back empty handed. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord and say, God, here am I. I come to renew my strength tonight. I come to renew my strength tonight, to God. I come to renew my strength because they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Open your mouth and ask God and say, Father, oh Lord, renew my strength once again, oh God. Renew me once again in my spirit man, in my inner man, oh Lord. Almighty God, by the power of your spirit, God begin to renew us once again. Let there be a renewer in our soul, in our spirit. 
in our inner man. Oh God of heaven, my Father, once again, oh God, take over once again our heart to God. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, every weakness, every weakness, oh God, within and without. Almighty God, let your power, let the power of God begin to swallow up every weakness, every tiredness out of our spirit, man. Even tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, oh God, let there be a renewal. Let there be a renewal, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we need your spirit, we need your power, we need your spirit for me, oh Lord, we need your power for me, oh Lord, we need your spirit for me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We want to pray, brethren. We want to ask the Lord once again. Here we have come to his presence. We want to thank the Lord and say, God, because he told us, he said, remember you know the former things. Neither consider ye the things of all. He said, behold, I, God Almighty, I will do a new thing in our lives, in your homes, in your family, in your ministry. He said, I will do a new thing. We want to cry to God of heaven tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, Lord, do something new in my life, oh God. Shall we open our mouth and cry to God tonight? A new thing. Part of the new thing is that we want God to do, I mean, to begin to, you know, begin to strengthen our prayer life and begin to energize our prayer life. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight and call upon I say, Father, once again, oh Lord, a new thing in my soul, a new thing in my spirit, a new thing in my body, a new thing in my life, oh God, in the life of our wives, our children, oh God, visit us once again by the power of the Holy Ghost goes tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, do a new thing in our soul. Everything, we want a new thing to happen, a new thing to begin in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you can hear me, can I hear a bigger amen? Amen. Okay, but want to pray. In Luke chapter 11, where we read, he said those, that one of the disciples came unto him and said, Lord, teach us to pray. We want to ask the Lord. I say, Lord, teach us to pray. We don't want to pray, Lord, as we ought to. Is that not what the Bible tells us? Romans chapter 8, verse 26, say, likewise also, the Spirit helped our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray as we ought. But he, he himself intercedes for the believer. He strengthens us. He energizes us. We are going to pray tonight and say, Lord, teach me to pray. Oh God of heaven, teach me to pray. Put the fire of prayer upon our heart once again. Unquenchable fire of prayer and supplication. Unquenchable fire of intercession. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord and say, God, if all of us here on this platform, we can be on fire for the Lord. I'm telling you, the kingdom of darkness is in trouble. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, that pursue that fire, fire of prayer, fire of supplication, fire of intercession upon our soul, the, the earnestness in prayer, the urgency in prayer, the fervency in prayer, the vigor, the favor. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, release it once again upon my soul tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I hope you are praying, brethren, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God of heaven, oh God, every manipulation against our spiritual life, every manipulation of Satan, manipulation of demons and evil spirit powers of darkness against our spiritual life, let everything begin to crumble tonight by fire. In the mighty name
name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, every manipulation of the enemy, every power that has been assigned to manipulate our prayer life, to manipulate our spiritual strength, to manipulate our understanding of the scripture, to manipulate us in any form, in any way. You want to ask God and say, God, will set those things are blessed tonight. We'll set them are blessed tonight. We command the fire from heaven to begin to consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let arise and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, let your fire fall tonight, O oh God, and begin to consume every walk of darkness tonight. Because every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted in your life, in your prayer, in your prayer life, in your spiritual life, in your family life, everything must be rooted out. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord. Open your mouth and call upon God and say, God, arise tonight in the greatness of your power. Let every walk of darkness be shattered into pieces tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. And in, at the same time, you are telling God, oh Lord, teach me to pray. Oh Lord, teach me to pray. Oh Lord, give me the fervency and the vigor, the energy in prayer. Oh Lord, look at the frequency of our prayer. The frequency is too low. It's too low. We are not operating at the high level. That way God expects us to pray. I will open your mouth and begin to pray. We want a high frequency in prayer. Oh God, step up our prayer life once again. Oh Lord, strengthen our prayer life. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let there be a renewal and a refreshing. Let there be a renewal in our spirit man. In the mind Say name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, oh dear Father, once again, oh God, deposit your fire once again, oh Lord, into my spirit, into my soul. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and tell the Lord, let's ask God and say, God, visit us. Holy Ghost, begin to visit us once again. In the mighty <laughs> name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. We want to tell the Lord we are very close. Few days to come now. We'll be talking about the retreat. All of us will be at the retreat ground. And we want to hand over the Easter retreat alongside with GCK. Coming up this Easter, and of course you know, it's going to come up in Taraba State, in Wukari. I've been, I've been to that Wukari for, at least I passed through the place once on my way to Jalingo. I know it's not, it's a very uh, busy environment, commercial center, dominated by people of other religion and all that, and like that, like that. But you know, we are going to pray, we are going to call upon the Lord. It's just about more than two hours' drive from Jalingo. We want to pray to God. We want to lift up the man of God. We want to lift up even our state overseer over the air and the regional overseer supporting him in the work of the Lord. We want to pray that the mighty hand of God will rest upon our Father in the Lord. Our Father in the Lord needs our prayer seriously at this time because he alone cannot do the job. You know, we are here, we are on this platform, we are praying for him. In other platforms, they are praying for him. In the churches, they are praying for him. In the prayer meeting, they are praying for him. All the pastors gathered together, they are praying for him. All the prayer warriors all over, they are praying for him. The women are praying for him. The men are praying for him. The youth are praying for him. I'm telling you, how will God not answer? We want to tell the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, anoint your servant in a dynamic way, in a, in, a, in a special manner. The Lord will release his anointing upon our Father and the Lord, even upon the state of Asia, they will not break down. While they are busy doing the work and they are running up one thing or the other, they will not break down. We want to pray. Holy Ghost begin to strengthen them. Holy Ghost begin to energize them. Holy Ghost begin to strengthen and begin to quicken your servant. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's pray that the Lord will prepare our Father and the Lord so mightily by the grace of God, the hand of God will rest mightily upon 
upon him. The anointing of, of God upon his life is to become troubled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anointing that breaks every yoke of sin, anointing that breaks every yoke of sickness, anointing that brings transformation upon the life of people, anointing that when even those stars and the backslider, they have encounter, in fact, they will begin to weep like small baby. They will be broken down in the presence of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, God, anoint your servant in a very spectacular manner, in a very spectacular, special way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, we lift up your servant, oh God. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor Kumuyi, oh God, begin to anoint him specially for this assignment of this Easter GCK and retreat, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, Lord anointing, spectacular anointing, double punch of the anointing, oh God, release it upon your servant, oh God. It will not be tired, it will not be weary, it will not break down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Christ, almighty God, we pray for the wife, mommy Esther, oh God, oh Lord, strengthen him, oh Lord, strengthen him, oh Lord, quicken him, oh Lord, uphold her by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, envelope your servant, oh God, with your mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up, oh God, even, oh God, our state overseers, the regional overseers who are, who are supporting him in the work of the Lord, oh Almighty God, help every one of them. Oh Lord, prepare them ready, my Father. The anointing of God will rest upon your servant in a mighty way in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We want to pray. We want to pray for some of our pastors on this platform. That are having, I've been following up some of the requests. Some I say they are emotionally down. Some are facing some battles. Particularly, I want us to pray. I don't know the specific challenge, but I think I've been reading something. I know we are mature people on this platform and we are pastors, we are leaders. I've seen a, a particular prayer request from Pastor Biney. We want to pray for him. We want to tell the Lord. We want to ask God, no matter the challenge, the battle that is confronting him, the almighty God will step in and begin to fight his battle for him. The Lord will grant unto him total victory over every Amen. opposition of the devil, over all the powers of darkness, either coming from the village, from anywhere, all the arrows of the enemy, all the attacks of the enemy against his own servant, against our brother. We want to pray and say, God, Lord, silence every opposition of the demons of the devil in the name of Jesus. Every satanic opposition against his life, open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. We want to, we want to see the speedy answer now, 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 not even tomorrow, now. We want to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, attend to the need of your servant now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every challenge, every arrow that the enemy has been fighting against his life, we want to pray that God will be power, will neutralize all those arrows of the weak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray and call upon the name of the Lord. The servant of God be liberated. Do you know that this moment of Easter is a moment of liberation by virtue of Christ's death? Amen. Amen. Before, Before we wind off, let's give all the praises unto God. We will have love to continue, but because of time, 
We want to say, Father, thank you for everything you have done. Father, we thank you for everything you have done. Let's all give him all the praise. All the honor. Appreciate God once again. We give unto you. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Thank you. We are praying. Amen. Amen. Please can uh, Pastor Victor help us round up the prayer. Thank you, uh, Pastor Shegun. Our Father, we pray that may you give us more energy to continue this work you have put on our shoulder. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Thank Jesus' you, name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, Pastor Victor, you can take over, sir, for the discussion. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, please, uh, we pastors, we thank God for the grace of God upon our lives. We really appreciate God for every, every one of us, including me. Okay, I know that we are doing a great job, a great work. And uh, I know what uh, we are going through. The Lord God Almighty will give us wisdom to be able to actually uh, prevail over all challenges that may be coming on our ways. Observation, as the pastor has been said that on uh, Sundays, we should have time of planning ahead and the way the work we are doing. Because pastor's prayer meeting, we spend 45 minutes of prayer, 15 minutes, we, we, we plan ahead, we observe, and we make adjustments. We are not just to pray all the old prayer and all that. Prayer is good, but there are something that attached to prayer. That is what I was talking with the pastor that I normally anchor pastor's prayer meeting. You understand? And that's the only time we need to prepare ahead. We pray, we plan as need us. Now, my observation is this. Is that a uh, pastor, this pastor, 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 Bats, pastor Bats, if you observe more than three, four weeks now, is having health challenges. Okay. It's having health challenges. And is the one that many posts submit your prayer request on the platform. Let's reach out to him. Let's reach out to him. Let's text him. Let's send a voice note to him. Let's pray with him. He is one of the pillars. He normally attends all the prayer meetings. Thursday is there, Monday is there, pastor's prayer. In fact, every time, it's always there before most of us join. Please, for some of us pastors that we have not contacted him, let's contact him. If you go to the pastor's prayer platform, you will see his name there, Pastor Bart. Uh, let's contact him. We have not been seeing him. Let's, because the leg, the leg, the, the left foot normally swell up. And if we put on his boots, he has sharp pain, serious pain. And he was mm. he need to go for X-ray. He need to go for she a medical doctor and all that. So let's get in touch with him and let's also let's uh let's pray along with him. Let him let him feel that he's among us. And do you know this pastor? He saw our prayer online, online, and he contacted Pastor Matthew and he joined us. He just saw what we are doing, he contacted him, he joined us in the prayer. So that is my observation as pastors. Let's take care of our fellow brother when they have eight challenges. Nobody call, nobody text. You understand? They feel, ah, where's my brethren? This is my family. Let's have that consign. Not all pray, 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 pray. Let's show that compassion like the good Samaritan. Do we, do we, am I communicating? Yes. Okay, and but the I'm, second I'm uh, I'm 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 the is, uh, some of our pastors that are not online, yes, especially pastors' prayer meeting, you discover that so and so is not online. Contact him, brother, our pastor, our police, where even though you know he is still busy, let you have that mm -hmm. sign of uh, feeling that ah, my brethren, they're always thinking about me that if they are not on the prayer meeting, it's like something is, something is, is, not, is not okay. You understand? Let's contact him. Let's, let's contact them. Let's find out. Let's encourage them. There is this particular brother that money sent prayer request on my platform. Everything they say, demons are pursuing him. 
demons. He see demon. They are uh, tormenting him. Pray for him. Pray for him. I have told him to join us in our prayer online. And he will not join the prayer online.